Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, guys. We're going to be checking out an amazing video. This is going to be Angry Boy Gets Cooled by Dr. Zack and Nike. As he kept on interjecting Dr. Zack and Nike reply. Guys, this is going to be amazing because I have high hopes on this. Guys, let's get straight into this. Good evening, everyone, and good evening, Dr. Nayak. Today, I am a human speaking on behalf of humanity. Hmm. Now, Dr. Nayak, since you were... Can we have your name, please? Yeah, I am Clearly. Chirag, and please don't ask my religion. Dr. Nayak, since you were born, maybe in a Muslim family, you were prescribed with your religion. Now, that is why today you are endorsing it, maybe. If you would have been born in a Hindu family, it could have been possible that today this religion would have been on Hinduism. This, I feel, is an extreme case of ethnocentrism, wherein you feel your religion, culture, beliefs and ideas are supreme. That is why you said that Sikhism or Arya Samaj or whatever religion that abandons idol worship is supported by you too. According to me, we should be discussing a larger religion of humanity and not keep juggling here. Any comments or well, justification, well, sir? Very good question. Guys, before Zaki Naik answered this, guys, I just want us to listen to this with an open mind. Like, He's feeling that maybe because he is from, I don't know if he's from Hindu because he didn't say, or oh, let me use myself as an example because I am from a Christian background. I want to advocate for Christian because this is what I've been brought in. This is what I've been made to believe is true. You get me? So I kind of get his point. I kind of get where it's coming from personally. <laughs> Let's get back, guys. Is that because I was born in a Muslim family? That's the reason I'm endorsing Islam. Maybe if I was born in a Hindu family, I would be endorsing Hinduism. And I'm supporting Arya Samaj and Sikhism because it matches my view and I'm juggling around. I should rather speak about broader aspect. Very good question. Yes. Brother, I agree with you. Till the age of 19, I was a Muslim only because my father was a Muslim. After the age of 19, when I started studying about comparative religion, now, I'm a Muslim by choice. And believe me, if you can point out any other religion to me better than Islam, I'm ready to accept that religion today. Today. Sir, I'm endorsing the religion of humanity. Brother, I'll come to it. Yeah. I'll come to it. Yeah. I'm telling anyone, prove to me logically, scientifically, any other religion better than Islam, I am ready to accept it. You are telling, you are talking about humanity. Who wrote this religion, humanity? Mahatma Gandhi? Who wrote it? You know, a Muslim cannot be a good Muslim unless he's a good human being. That every no. religion says, every brother, religion says... Brother, let me complete my answer. Yes, sir. Are you here to hear my answer or are you here to give your views? I would like to have a healthy discussion and reach Whether to a logical conclusion. This is not a debate session. Not at all. I never said. So listen to my answer. After my answer, you can give your comment. <laughs> okay, please. Let me finish my answer. Keep on interjecting. That means you listen to my answer. Carry on. Listen carefully. Yeah. Something is going, Mahabharata is going in your mind. How will you listen? When please you carry on. When you read out your question, did I interrupt? Please carry on. Did I interrupt? You, you did not. Please so, carry on. Everything writing down, coming, <laughs> asking question. I now said, I'm giving yeah. the reply. Listen, this yeah, is my reply. What, I'm listening. So why are you commenting? Please carry on, sir. Please justify. Tell me your answer. If you listen to my answer, you'll understand. Otherwise, all this more than 100,000 people will understand, yet you'll have the same question. I'm a medical doctor. A person can't concentrate on two different things. Listen to the answer. After the answer is over, no problem. So what you have to realize, you're talking about humanity. First you said, don't ask my religion. Then you're saying, I'm endorsing humanity. First of all, you're ashamed to identify your view. Then you're talking about humanity. I'm asking the question, who wrote this book called humanity? Is there any book? Is there any guidelines of humanity? 
I am telling you, a Muslim cannot be a Muslim until he's a good human being. Every religion doesn't say that. I'm sorry to say that. You have not studied the other religions. I can give a talk. I can give you quotations from the Vedas, quotations from Hindu scriptures, quotations from the Bible, which goes against humanity. I am not here to criticize any religion. If you have not studied any religion, please don't say anything which you have no knowledge of. Quran says, Fas alu ahal zikri in kuntum la ta'alamun. Surah Nahal chapter 16 verse 43, Surah Ambiya chapter 21 verse number 7. You are not a student of comparative religion, so please don't make comments without knowing. I can give you quotations from the Bible against humanity. I challenge you to point out a single verse of the Quran, a single teaching of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which is against humanity. So don't tell me every religion says that. Sorry, your knowledge is very weak. What I'm trying to tell you, humanity means, okay, you're in standard two. I'm talking about not only passing school, not only graduation, you have to become postgraduate. Islam means higher level. Only humanity is low level. No Muslim can be a good Muslim unless he's a good human. I challenge you to point out a single teaching of Islam which is against humanity. You may not be knowing the logical background, the logical reason why Islam has prescribed that teaching, and you may think it is against humanity. Like I would say, oh, doctor is giving me injection, it is poking me. But that injection is good for you. You know, doctor is cutting up my tummy. He's cutting up my tummy to save your life. So doctor knows, you don't know. If I have two choices, okay, passing standard two or three, or doing post-graduation, I would prefer post-graduation. Why only standard two and three? Humanity is good. But Islam is far superior than that. Regarding your question, I am endorsing Islam because I was born in a Muslim family. I told you, I challenge you, if anyone proves to me any other religion, I have studied most of the major religions. And I think Islam is the most logical, the best religion for humanity. It is the only religion which has the solution for humanity. Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the deen in the layal Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam. And for your information, your argument is so weak. Do you know, out of more than 30 scholars that we have, from different parts of the world. More than 10, they were not born in a Muslim family. Do you know that? I'd like you to answer this question. Do you know that? Out of 30 people speaking from the stage, more than 10, they were not born Muslim. Do you know that? Sir, I attached maybe. I'm that asking maybe. you a question. Do you know that? No, yes I don't or no? know that. So that means the whole argument falls down. Out of the 30 people speaking from different parts of the world, more than 10 are from America, four are from Canada, few are from UK, we are from Malaysia, we have a couple from Saudi Arabia, from UAE, from Somalia, from Sudan, and more than 10, they were born in non-Muslim families. They grew up. Some accepted Islam in the teenage, some accepted Islam in the 20s, some in 30s, and Allah gave them hidayah. They are Muslims by choice. So your logic that because we are born in Muslim family, therefore I'm endorsing. These people weren't born in Muslim family. They were born in Christian family. They were born in non-Muslim family. Yet they're endorsing Islam. Why? Because they have studied. They have studied other religions and they found Islam is the best way of life. What I request you, you study humanity and study Islam. And try and find out what point in Islam is against humanity. Then you'll come to know that the best religion, I'm not asking a religion, I'm asking you to accept the best religion. And the best way of life, the only solution for humanity is Islam. Guys, I want to say, I want to ask a question. How does Christianity don't support or help humanity? Because he said it and I don't know how. I don't know. Please educate me. Maybe I'm, I'm lacking knowledge for educating, please. I feel Islam is good for humanity. And I feel Christianity is good for humanity. I haven't seen... I kind of know more about Christianity than Islam. So I can tell you I don't know anywhere in the Bible that... I will say it's not good for humanity or that preaches hate 
that pushes anything deceitful such. Always tell you love your brother as yourself. Honor your father and your mother. Like, if you are following the Ten Commandments, because I feel we follow the same Ten Commandments, so if you are following the Ten Commandments, I don't see how it's not good for humanity. But please tell me in case I'm wrong. And the the young man was actually, he was pissed. That was the truth. He was pissed at Zaki Knight because he felt Zaki Knight was trying to change. There's a way you be. You talk to someone about your religion, and I feel the person put it to head, but to heart. But Zaki and I kind of say it in a way I I I wouldn't say, but that is a, the way he he was talking right now. He was trying to I wouldn't say shade or that religion, but there's a way he was doing it. And this is me being honest. I, I don't want to fake anything on this journey. I have to put it to you like that. But I was feeling like he was trying to shade other religion. Maybe because he called Christianity though, but <laughs> well, that's why I told you before. I love listening to Mufti Mek because I feel he's someone that proves his point from his book. Like he does not go maybe because Zaki Naik is a scholar of different religion. That's why he's able to talk that way, but he should please. Told me like where in the Bible you see I'm kind of getting like him now. Can I still should like share subscribe to my channel? I see you this time guys first.